Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my next mini project. As you can see, I'm working on 3D model of this valve spring compressing tool. So this one I made out of aluminium. Now I wanted to do a model for 3D printing. And as you can see, the construction is similar and dimensions are very similar. But since this is a 3D printed model, I can, uh, you know, put some nice geometry in it. So it looks like a proper tool. As you can see, it's got nice arc here over the top. And then it's got a hole on the top. And at the bottom, there's a lip. As you can see, this is where the spring plate uh, comes and this edge here prevents the tool from slipping so um, I think this will print out just fine uh, I'm using a nice little software to do this it is called Tinkercad it's really easy to use and uh, easy to learn so I basically made this model in a couple of hours Although I do have some previous experience with 3D modeling, uh, it's been like 10 or 12 years ago, so you know I basically forgot everything. But this software is free, it's very easy to use, it is uh, browser based, so all you need is an internet connection and you can use it. Of course, I'll put a link down below, and you can then export your project in .obj or .stl files which you can then import into routing software uh, I'm using uh, Ultimaker Cura software here as you can see this is our 3D model uh, I've got it placed in the view and I have it set up for printing I did choose to print the, the brim which is this round part here this enables your model to adhere, adhere to the build plate and then you can also see infill which is yellow in color and the red color is the shell so I hope this will print out just fine as you can see the 3d model of the spring compressor tool is printing it looks like uh, we don't need any supports for the upper part and it looks like geometry is okay so uh, we don't have any flaws on the overhangs so uh, let's just wait and see what happens when the printer is done working so the printer just finished the job let's see the results uh, we'll just take off the model okay so we have the finished print as you can see the quality is not perfect but it doesn't have to be this is a working tool it just needs to do its job and as you can see the arching overhangs are not perfect but they did print out okay without using any supports also this bottom part which has, which has uh, quite severe overhang printed out nicely there were some supports here but uh, they are now removed and as you can see we have this one and a half millimeter lip and this uh, edge here prevents the tool from slipping off the spring so I think this tool will work just fine it feels very strong I don't think it will break under pressure 
and since it is symmetric it means you can do the job uh, from each side if you want to but I think you can do you can change or take out the keepers uh, just by using one side or one opening so this turned out fine it took about 45 minutes to print I used PLA uh, filament which is uh, I think a bit more robust and it doesn't have uh, as much sh shrinkage as the ABS so I think this is this is a totally usable model or prototype I am also working on this metal bracket I want to do a 3D print model of this design uh, now I did simplify the design as you can see here on this model you have holes on each side and you have holes for the stud bolts on the head so the idea is that you bolt this onto the head and then you can use this bolt or uh, this uh, threaded bolt uh, like this and you can screw it in and then compressing the valve with the head now I am working on printing this out and uh, see if this tool will work this bracket just finished printing as you can see I haven't taken it out of the printer I will try to do that now okay it seems to be pretty stuck ah, give me a second I try to remove this brim first maybe that will help and it broke off so I managed to remove the model from the build plate I glued back this piece here and then what I did I used a 6.5 millimeter drill bit to enlarge the holes and then I use this tap to thread the hole with M6 actually M8 thread so I can now screw in this M8 bolt like this So this gives me the right angle and I've also uh, made this bolt with this uh, head socket and as you can see this part here slots into this hole so this gives us some stability and now when you want to use this tool you just put this bracket on the cylinder head and then you use the original M6 nuts to secure this bracket to the head and then you can screw this nut and compress the spring that will enable you to remove the keepers and then of course do the valve stem seals replacement so this is just a prototype for now I will have to test out the dimensions and design and I also have to test the strength of this uh, material uh, of course we have to make sure that everything is strong enough so we can do a complete change of all the seals so uh, stay tuned for the update and uh, I guess I catch you next time